In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an Instagram carousel post with Canva. Now, a carousel post usually has a strong heading followed by different points here. And you can go ahead and create this in Canva for free. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. I believe you can add up to 10 different posts. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. So what you want to do is you want to head over to canva.com and once you're here, go ahead and search for Instagram carousel. So you should see it here, carousel Instagram post. Go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to be using the free version of Canva. So once you've created your free account and you've searched for that, go ahead and then go to Canva templates, click see all, and it will then show you all of the templates here. Now all of these aren't going to be free. So what I recommend you do is go to all filters, then scroll all the way down and then click on free, then click apply. And that will give you all of the free templates that you can use. Now here you can choose one which matches your theme or which matches the style that you're trying to go with. Now some of these are going to have more pages than others. This one has seven, this one has five, but we can go ahead and add more or delete them as we please. So I'm going to go with this one because I think this stands out and we're going to make a kind of like make money online post. So go ahead and click on the template you want to use, then click customize this template. So after you've done that, it will take you inside of Canva and here you've got page one, page two, page three and so on. Now you've got to remember people are going to be scrolling through these, but before they do start scrolling through them, they obviously need to see your first post and it needs to catch their attention enough for them to start scrolling. So you need a strong heading here, like building brand trust is not that strong in my opinion. You need a strong heading which gets people to click and scroll through your post. Now you might need to change a lot depending on what template you use here. For me, I'm just going to really change the text and we'll add some images and I'll show you basically how you can do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and we're going to create a strong heading. So I'll create something like these five ways to make money online will shock you. Now this is a very long heading and you can see it goes off the page. So we can highlight this text and anything that we see on this template can be edited. So if we highlight the text, we've got all of our text tools here. We can go ahead and make this smaller by clicking and holding this button. So we're going to go with this one. These five ways to make money online will shock you. Now I'm going to highlight this and we will just make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go to the spacing and I do need to increase the spacing a bit because I do think the lines are a bit close to each other. Okay, so we're going to run with this. Now to separate and to make this more visually pleasing, we're going to highlight make money online and we're going to go ahead and change that text color to red. Now this is already the red which is on the document. You can change it to any other color here and we're going to add an exclamation mark there as well. Now I'm going to remove this at sign. We don't need it. And I really do believe that the starter of your carousel should catch people's attention. So we're going to get rid of any unnecessary text and just keep the text which we need. So that is page number one. We can now go to page number two where we need to add a header and also some text where people can learn something. We need to add value to people. We need to give them information. We need to entertain them. So make sure you have good copy here. You would have your own copy in mind, obviously. I'm just creating this for the video. So number one, I'm going to put here YouTube search based channels. I'm going to highlight the whole text by clicking control A and I'm going to bring the font size down just a little bit. And I'm also going to go to the alignment and just make this centered. OK, so let's resize this and we can move everything around here. And there you go. There is the first slide. So now let's go ahead and move this text up a little bit. And what we can do, we can go ahead and obviously write our text. Now, if we wanted to go to design and change the template, we could do, we could add any other template if we wasn't feeling this. We've also got elements here. So maybe I want to go to elements and here you can search for different shapes, graphics. You can add your own images. But for me, I'm just going to add a YouTube logo. And if we go to graphics and see all, we can add whatever logo we like. So I'll just add this YouTube logo here. Now, creating carousel posts is actually pretty easy. You just kind of drag and drop stuff on. Again, I don't need this text and I also don't need this page number. You can create this as you wish. And obviously you want to take your time with this and make sure the information is good. Now, if you didn't want a specific page, so let's say you didn't want five pages or you didn't want this thank you page, you can go ahead and click the trash can icon and that will remove any page. As well as if you wanted another page, you could go ahead and duplicate this page by clicking duplicate page. If, for example, you wanted to move this page up or any page, you can go to the page and you can move it up or down and move the order around. 
You've got your text tools here where you can add more text, but for most of you, I would just edit from the template and it will make your life a lot easier. If you did want to upload photos, you go to the upload section. Here you'll see all of the images and videos you've got that are already on Canva, but you can go ahead and upload your own. There's not much else to really cover. You just have to kind of edit from the template and do the best that you can. Make sure to catch people's attention with your title and then add value and people will obviously engage with your post. Once you're happy with it, go share in the top right hand corner. Then you can go ahead and download it in the top right and then download it as a PNG. And it should download this as a zip file. So here it is in a zip file. If we go ahead and open this, you can see here are all of the individual posts. You can just extract this to your computer. Here is post number one. And then obviously we can go through the carousel and we'll have a post here that we've created. So you can go ahead and then upload this to Instagram. And I hope that video was helpful. That's how you do it. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out.